ureter is the tube which conveys the formed urine from the kidneys to the urinary bladder so the length of the ureter in adults is around 25 to 30 cm this picture is showing you a transverse section of the ureter and here it is clear that the lumen of the ureter is star shaped and out of the lumen we have the layers like mucosa muscle layer and adventitia these three layers are histologically different the mucosa consists of lining epithelium and lamina propria the lining epithelium of the ureter is the urothelium or transitional epithelium so the characteristic features of the transitional epithelium we have seen in the chapter called as epithelia so the basal layer will be cuboidal or columnar and above that we have four to five layers of polygonal cells and the superficial layer of the transitional epithelium shows specific type of cells called as umbrella shaped cells few of these umbrella shaped cells are binucleated and this urothelium or the transitional epithelium we can see in the ureter and also the interior the lining epithelium of the urinary bladder and also in the proximal urethra there are two functions for this transitional epithelium number 1 which allows distension or stretching especially in the urinary bladder number 2 this prevents the absorption of the excreted materials which are stored when the, in the urinary tract again back to the blood the lamina propria is outer to the lining epithelium and this is made up of loose connective tissue and this is the blood vessels are embedded in this lamina propria the muscle layer consists of two layers inner longitudinal layers of smooth muscles and outer circular layers of smooth muscles this arrangement of smooth muscles is opposite of digestive tract in the digestive tract in the muscularis externa we have learned inner circular and outer longitudinal layers of smooth muscles but here in the ureter it is inner longitudinal and outer circular layers of smooth muscles in the middle and lower part of the ureter a third layer of longitudinal smooth muscles also will be present these three layers of muscles are not very clearly differentiated the outermost layer is called as adventitia and this is made up of loose connective tissue and contains many blood vessels nerves and also adipocytes or fat cells this is ordinary hni stained ureter slide under low magnification so here we could see the star shaped lumen and also the lining epithelium of urothelium then the lamina propria the muscle layer and adventitia based on these features we can identify the slide of ureter last let us discuss some clinical conditions related to the ureter first one ureteric calculi so calculus means stones so ureteric calculus or calculi is the term denoting presence of stones in the ureter sometimes it can obstruct the ureter and can cause hydronephrosis that means accumulation of the urine or the fluid in the ureter due to obstruction next condition is transitional cell carcinoma or urothelial cancer so this can happen this is a malignant transformation of the urothelium or the transitional epithelium this can happen even in the urinary bladder also Thank you for watching this short video explaining the histological features of ureter